There's my big boy. You ready for dinner? You ready for dinner? Look, Buck. Look what I got. Look what I got for you. Look, you want some grapes? Come on. Here. Yeah. You ready? You were laying down? You were laying down? Yeah. Okay. Got some grapes and I got peanuts for you. Mommy went shopping. So we got all the good stuff now, see? And I got peanuts. I know you missed some peanuts. You missed these peanuts. I know you did. I know you did. Got him grapes and peanuts. And we have apples now. I got him the apples. All right, Buck? We got you apples, peanuts, grapes. He's gonna have a big dinner because for breakfast, I felt so bad. I only had one apple, literally one apple left. So this morning, he only had one apple, a can of peaches and the corn. Which I know that's even that's good, but normally I never give him anything that's canned. Like I never really usually like giving him canned peaches and stuff because it has too much salts and stuff inside of them. So I'd rather just give him like straight up fruit. Oh, he loves the grapes. You like it? It's good? Yeah. Oh, my big boy. You were hungry. I know you were hungry. And then you have the peanuts. cut up his apples in the meantime while he eats I thought it was gonna be raining right now but thank god it's not I guess it passed us because it was supposed to rain all day today but it only rained this morning a little bit and that's it so that's good usually if it rains I'll stay out here with him but if it downpours, that's when I only come out to check his buckets and then I go back in. But if it drizzles, I'll hang out here with him, like and feed him and stay with him. But when it like, if it rains too, too heavy, then no, then I go inside. Oh, I got dirt on his apples by accident. I'm sorry, book. One apple's gonna have a little dirt on him. It's okay. He's eating, he's eating all the peanuts. whatever peanuts you don't eat the squirrels will eat I'll cut up his apples and then he'll tell me when he wants his apples but at least now he'll have a big dinner yeah have a big dinner you'll have three apples grapes peanuts and his corn The weather it's a little chilly out but it's not like freezing in the sky it looks like it's gonna rain like it's very gray out so i don't know if it's supposed to rain that's why i came out a little early i usually now i push this dinner usually to 4 35 like that because it doesn't get dark out so early anymore so now i push this dinner but today I want to give him dinner a little early because I was so excited that I got him like all of his favorite goodies. Which when I called him, he was hanging out close by already. He was definitely laying down over there along that fence. He was laying down somewhere there because when I walked up to the spot and I called him, literally he popped up in like two minutes. He just, I was like, wait, oh, you're there. So I think he was laying down. Are you taking a nap? Were you taking a nap, big boy? I don't see no squirrels. And no birds. So I'm assuming we might get rain if I don't see all the other little ones. Oh, they ate all the bread that I threw this morning. And Buck ate me to eat some of the bread too. This morning I threw some bread for the birds and it was funny because Buck was eating it.
right? You ate the bird's uh, bread. I threw bread for the birds and you ate it. I got apples. You wanna eat your peanuts? All right, eat your peanuts. Oh, he's enjoying the peanuts right now. Cause if he wanted the apples, he will put his head over the fence. Oh, he hasn't done that yet. You enjoying your peanuts, baby? Oh, now you want the apples? Here you go. Now you want the apples. Did you enjoy the peanuts? They were good, right? They were good. My big boy. Now you're gonna eat good? Yeah. I know, this morning mommy didn't give you a big breakfast. I was so upset, I had no more apples. I was like, damn it. And usually I'm always stocked, but this week I must have not been like fully stocked to be left with only one left this morning, right? That means I wasn't fully stocked. This time I am. Well, like four bags of apples. And they were like, I think four pounds of apples in each bag. So I think now we're good, right? Now we're good. Now you're gonna have apples for the whole week. My big boy. There you go. He is such a good boy. He is such a good boy. You see? When he wants apples, he lets you know. He puts his head over it like that. Like before he was he seen me cutting them. He was like, No, I wanna keep eating my peanuts. Like, I know she's not leaving anyway, so I'm going to sit here and eat them. Okay, let's cut the other apple. And I bought the nice big apples too, Buck. So, you're not going to get gypped. Whoa. Whoa. That one fell. We got to get it. Here, eat this one while I get the apple. These apples are big, Buck. These are big apples. Yeah, because the apples I bought them last time were a little too small. I had to give them like four apples. Even the apple I gave him this morning sucked. It wasn't like that big. It was small. Poor guy. And he was sitting there looking at me. And I'm like, damn it. I have nothing else. I'm sorry, Buck. But now he's going to have a big dinner. He's going to have a big dinner, big boy. Right? My big boy's gonna have a big dinner. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. You hungry? I figured you were hungry. Because you didn't eat a lot this morning. Right? Because mommy didn't have a lot of goodies. That's a big piece. You got it. Oh, good boy. There you go. Now he doesn't look so nervous anymore. Like when I had the buckets on this side, he was so nervous. Like every time while he was eating his apples, he would stare at his buckets to make sure like, probably wondering why they weren't on this side. Now he doesn't do that so much anymore. Well, now he's looking, but he's looking down the driveway. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay, big boy. Nobody's gonna get you. And your buckets are right back to their spot, okay? See, you won. And I think it's better that he eats on the left side because it's hidden behind trees because there's trees there. So it'll be better because if I ever, in the summer, we have a lot of family that comes usually on the weekend. So at least like, you know, when he's over here eating, nobody would see him or bother him. That's why I thought about it too, that this spot is not a good spot for him, like out in the open. Because if I would have left his buckets over here, Whoever comes on the property, they will see him off the bat while he's eating. Trucks, anybody. Usually, like, over here, it's hidden. Like, if you're walking around, you won't see it. Okay, maybe he wants to eat by his corn. Let's see. I'm going to throw some grapes in his corn. Look. Want it? You want it? Go eat it. I bring your bucket. Yeah, because for some reason, he's still iffy about his corn bucket, like the new buckets that I put. He sips off of the water one because I had the old bucket underneath, but I took it out this morning. I took it out to, like, you know, because I seen he was drinking from it. But for some reason, he's not really, like, he'll walk up to the corn bucket, but 
He won't shove his head in there like he did with the old bucket. <laughs> like, he'll nip the corn out of it, but I don't know. I guess he's still iffy about the new buckets. But now he's definitely more happier that his buckets are there. I could tell. And that's funny because he wants to go look. Go get your grapes over there and your corn. There in your corn, baby. Go get it. I used to have more grapes. I have one more apple for him, but I want him to eat the rest of the apple slices that I put in here. Come here. Look. Look, Buck. Over here. Your grapes, see? Right there, baby. See? I put the grapes and the apples in there. Come on. Go eat it. Go eat it, baby. It's in your corn bucket. Come on. It's in your corn bucket. You could get it. Come on. I want to see you go in that new corn bucket. You can't be scared of it. I hope he goes in it. Because if not, then I'm going to have to take that fruit out of there and put it on the floor. Let's see. In the bucket, Buck. Really? Not there. Buck, over here. Look. Over here. Look. Over here. See? See? Get it, yeah. Get it. I put the grapes hanging over the bucket. I made them hang, so he has no choice to go next to the buckets if he wants them. But I might have to put them on the floor if he doesn't eat them like that. We'll see. Go get it. It's okay. I'll stop being a chicken buck. And I'll put more water. You got to put more water in your bucket? Alright, you got more water. Yeah, you got water. You're not going to go in your bucket, really? Alright, fine. You don't want them in your bucket? Here. In here. Okay? I took them out. But if you don't eat them, that means then you're just full. Yep, I took the, the grapes out of the bucket, and now he's eating them. I left two grapes and one apple slice in the bucket, so hopefully he smells and goes in. Because he's still iffy about his corn bucket. I think it's because the day before I installed his buckets, I thought about it. My dog was all over the buckets. I wonder if that has to do with it. That her scent is on it and he's like no like these are not my buckets these are not mine i don't know but i told my husband i said oh my god now i gotta be careful why i put his things in the house because if i let the dog go next to it like he's not gonna want them he's gonna be picky like that right you're gonna be picky like that i got more apples buck but i don't know if you want more If he wants more. Do you want more apples? Because then I'll cut one more, but I don't know if you're full or you want more. Do you want more, baby? Look. Let's see. Once I show him. You want more apples? I have one more you're going to eat. Because he ate two. There were two big ones. Let's see. I'll show him before I cut it. Because if he wants it, he'll come close to me. You want it, Buck? You want one more apple or no? Or are you full? If you're full, we won't cut it. It's up to you. What do you think? Are you full? Are you full or you want it? I don't know if he's full. I'm going to cut it. All right, we'll cut it. We'll cut half. We'll cut half and see. If he comes close, that means he wants it. And if he doesn't want it, it's fine. Then I'll save it for tomorrow. You cleaning yourself? Don't clean yourself yet. You're still eating. Put that leg down. Clean yourself after. You want more apples? You want more? Oh no. You want more? Yeah. Come here. Come here. It's okay. Good boy. We got more. If you want more, I'll give you more. Normally you eat two to three apples. So if you want another one, 
Here you go. I guess that means yes, he wants another one. You hungry today? Oh, my big boy. You're going to be nice and full after this, Buck. And then you eat some of your corn. And don't be scared to go in your corn bucket because I'm not throwing... This morning, I had to grab some of the corn from the bucket and throw it on the floor next to the bucket for him to like walk up to it to eat it. But I don't want to keep doing that for him because then it's going to be like a habit where I have to... For him to eat the corn, I have to go in there and be like, oh, here, look, it's over here. He was not He was normally walking up to it on his own, so... You want it, Buck. You know where it is. It's right there, the corn. It's the same bucket. It's just a newer bucket. It's the same bucket. You know that, right? It's the same bucket. Just newer. It's more newer. It doesn't have dirt on it. But if that's what you want, maybe I should rub some dirt on his buckets. I don't know. Should I do that, guys? Tell me in the comments. Should I rub some dirt around the lid of the buckets? Like on the outside, not on the inside. Like on the outside part. So maybe it smells like earthy and it'll have like, you know, the scent of the outside and maybe it'll like cover my dog scent from the buckets. I don't know. I don't know if that's what I should do. Because I noticed like with the buckets, he's been iffy with the new buckets. And I'm starting to think, I wonder if it's because my dog touched it before I installed them outside. Hey, baby, it's okay. I feel like he's staring at his buckets right now. They're the same thing. It's okay, baby. They're the same thing. It's the same bucket. Wow, Buck, you really don't like any change, huh? Now I know those buckets, once he gets used to those, I'm not going to be able to change those. If they break or something, I'm going to have to tweak them to fix them because he gets iffy about new things. You can't just put anything new here. I noticed you don't like it, right? You don't like new things? No? Oh, my big boy. It's okay. I guess not all of us like new things, right? We don't like change. You're used to things on your own. You swallowed it. You got it? Good boy. Okay, you're going to be full after this for sure. Because I would. I would be really full after this. Yeah, this is more. What happened? There's nobody. You're full? Okay. If you're full, that's fine. I'll put these three pieces in your buckets, Buck. You eat them later. That's what I'm gonna do. Look, Buck, I'm gonna put these over here, baby. Okay, you have corn. You have corn. Look, your apples, right here. I just put it in this bucket. So he can eat the rest if he wants later or whenever. That's it. You got three apple slices left. I put them in your bucket. When you want them, you get them. Okay? You can't be scared to go in your bucket. It's not going to hurt you. It's the same bucket. Literally, it's the same exact buckets I use. And that was his old bucket. That was the old water bucket. Which, that time I should have just changed one of his buckets, but whatever. I know he'll get used to them. Right, big boy? You'll get used to them. I just know that he hasn't really touched the corn bucket like he used to because there's still like a lot of corn in the bucket that I put this morning. So today he didn't really touch the corn too much. Right? He didn't touch it too much, Buck. You know it's getting windy. Oh, guys, I didn't even know. I'm almost up to my 20 minute mark. All right, I'm gonna shut this off. Hang out with him a little bit longer and then go inside. I just want to see if he eats the corn out of the bucket. He's been avoiding the new buckets. He took a couple sips of the water yesterday from his new bucket. But I noticed with the corn, like he wants me to take the corn out of the bucket. And I'm like, uh. So I'm going to hang out with him a little bit here just to see if I see him going in the bucket. Because that'll make me happy too if he goes in the corn bucket. All right, everyone. I hope everyone has a blessed day. Has a good weekend, and I will be back tomorrow, which is Sunday. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another video, and hopefully he runs to his corn bucket tomorrow. Like he's drinking water out of the water bucket because I put. Maybe I'm gonna put the old bucket under the corn bucket now. Yeah, I'm gonna do that now actually. So I will see everyone. Well, you guys will see us tomorrow morning, 
and thank you for watching my videos and if you're not subscribed subscribe thank you and we will see everybody we'll be back say bye buck you say bye to everybody and that's a seagull it's probably gonna tell us that it's gonna start raining soon all right he's giving us the heads up buck that's probably gonna start raining soon that's what that is